this is a this is a, this is a song I, I was I was writing down in my basement, you know, and I was wondering, you know, sometimes how you you feel like love exists in a, in a sort of a rarefied environment, like you know maybe the Garden of Eden or uh, a missile silo or or maybe yeah. your own individual basement for just a short amount of time. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or maybe I'm just yeah. So I, I bought, uh, when I moved back home to my hometown, I, I bought a 100 pound bag of potatoes from the Rotary Club, which is, I don't know what the Rotary Club sells here, but you have to buy it because it's protection money. <laughs> Take it from me. So I bought a 100 pound bag of potatoes. I'm sorry to talk for a little while here, but this is, I'm just trying to calm down. So tell you. This is, uh, so you buy a, a 100 pound bag of potatoes, and, and I don't eat a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I like them, I appreciate them for what they are. <laughs> but you throw them down in the basement and, uh, and, and they're kind of fine on their own, you know? They don't, they don't really need you. They pay your bills on your way, which is nice. Uh, so I was sitting down there, and it's right about the time in April, if you buy them in November or October, when the kind of sack of potatoes becomes like, like a pack of potatoes. <laughs> a roaming gang. <laughs> They've got democracy. It's like Lord of the Flies down there. Sorry to keep it on And uh, so I was singing this song for them. <laughs> It's nice when you can name songs after, or like like potatoes after like different political figures or whatever. <laughs> Bill Ritter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If this was the Cold War, we could keep each other warm. And I said on the first occasion that I met Marie, we were crawling through the hatch that was the missile silo door. And I don't think that she really thought that much of me. I never had to learn to love her like I learned to love the bomb. She just came along and started to ignore me. But as we waited for the big one, I started singing her my songs. I think she started feeling something for me. We passed the time with crosswords that she thought to bring inside. What five letters spell apocalypse, she asked me. I want her over singing W-W-I-I-I. She smiled and we both knew that she'd missed Oh, Marie, it was so easy to fall in love with you. It felt almost like a home of sorts or something. You would keep the warhead missile silo good as new. And I'd watch you with my thumb above the button. Then one night you found me in my army issue car. And you told me of your flash of inspiration. You said fusion was the broken heart, it's love is only a thought. And all night long you drove me wild with your equations. Oh Marie, do you remember all the time we used to take? We'd make our love and then ransack the rations. I think about you leaving now in the avalanche cascades. My eyes get washed away, chain me. Pins in the map of all the places where you thought that love would be found. But I would only need one pin to show my love's 
In a top secret location, 300 feet under the ground, where we could hold each other close. We'd stay up every night, looking up into the dark like it's the night sky. And pretend this giant missile is an old oak tree instead, and I'd carve your name in the heart into the warhead. Oh, Marie, there's something tells me things just won't work out above. That our love will live a half life on the surface. So at night while you are sleeping, I hold you closer just because. As our time grows short, I get a little nervous. So I think about the big one, WWIII. Would we ever really care if the world had ended? Well, you could hold me here forever. Like you're holding me tonight I think about that great big button And I'm tempted